In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple tank track in Blender. Now in this tutorial I'm not going to be showing you how to rig it because I still don't know how to rig it, you know, I'm just going to show you how to model it. Now what you need to model the tank tracks, you need three types of wheels which is the sprocket, the front wheel and the basic wheels, yeah. So I'm gonna start off by creating the wheels. So we're gonna create a cylinder, rotate it by 90 degrees on Y axis, scale it down on X axis to something like this. Uh, you're going to add two loop cuts in the middle, okay? And you're gonna press E, S to scale and shift and X so it scales down only on Y and Z axis. Just like that, we get this simple shape, you know. Now we're just gonna add some details over here, you know, like for example, insert a face like that. You can bevel this part. Um, you can insert it again, you know, select some faces here. You can just um, pull them down like that. Now, for example, take this part, you scale it down, scale it down, insert it again, extrude, extrude again, scale down, bevel. Boom, we got a simple wheel. Now, let me turn on matcap because I feel better working with it. And you can see we got a simple tank track. Now, this is a very simple tank track. I recommend you doing them a little bit more uh, detailed than I did. Now that's the first uh, method, which is the, uh, this is the first wheel, the basic wheel, which is going to be used mostly on the tank. Uh, we're gonna hide this now, we're gonna make a sprocket now. So we're gonna add a cylinder, rotate it by Y axis by 90. Again, scale it down, and you can add this to be as some sort of reference, just like that. Now we can hide it again. Oh, hide it again. Make two loop cuts, uh, maybe scale them like that. Make another loop cut and scale it down. Okay, something like to get this shape. Um, now you can take, for example, these edges. Let's take all these edges, these faces, I mean, um, well, I guess we'll have to just do it the simple way, just select these and these, uh, insert them and just press Alt E, extrude individual faces, great, now just, um, you can just bevel them so you get this weird look. I know it's not as detailed as you want it to be, but I'm just doing it very quickly. Now add some details inside of it. You know, you can pull the face a little bit like this, insert, extrude, bevel. And you can add some simple details like these, you know, it's not necessary for this video, but I'm gonna do it. No, but I recommend you adding a little more details than I do because what I do here is very simple. All right, this is for the sprocket. You can let me do it like that. This is the sprocket, it looks very weird, but this is the sprocket. And let's make the front wheel, which is usually a little bit smaller. So we're gonna create a cylinder, rotate it by Y axis by 90, scale it down, scale it down a little bit like this. And yeah, I think I can hide this, this one. I'm just gonna scale it like this, you know, make two loop cuts, select these faces, um, E, S, Shift X, scale it down. Now you can just make this part a little bit more detailed. 
something like this. Okay, this is very simple, but that's what we have. Uh, let's unhide these, and now let's just make the wheels and everything. Let's make a simple layout of the tracks. So a small wheel goes here. Let's delete this. Um, I think we should mirror this one by x-axis. Okay. <laughs> Now this one goes somewhere here. No, I'm gonna scale this pocket down a little bit. I'm just gonna shift duplicate and just gonna put them somewhere like that. Okay, and the sprocket somewhere there. Alright, we got the layout. Now what we have to do, we're gonna make the track. Track itself. So we're gonna hide all these. No, first we're going to put the 3D cursor somewhere here, okay? Just, uh, that's for the future. I'm gonna hide all these. Now I'll just make a simple, you know, I'm gonna make a simple one, you can make a little detailed. Uh, basically, a one piece of track. So, maybe something like this, let's unhide these so we can see how it's going okay this needs to be pulled, pulled a little bit over here okay and just you make a simple simple track gonna add some loop cuts over here so we can extrude these um, actually let's put loop cuts over here just like that and just extrude uh, individual faces okay now I can for example add some holes here you know like this um they want that to happen no nope. yep it's like that you create a simple track and now what you need to do you're going to add now we added the 3d cursor here so we don't need to adjust that gonna add a path key, path uh, curve gonna rotate it so it fits the tracks I'm going to just pull them like that and now you have to just extrude these uh, vertices around the wheels so actually um, yeah let's pull these on this side now I'm just going to add these simple extrudes you know you just have to wrap it around the track. Okay, we did it. Now what you're gonna do, now this is not perfect as you can see, this part is like, um, how do you call it? It's not round, okay, let's leave it like that. And now, you're going to add an array modifier to the track piece that you made. Go to put it on Y axis, and you're just gonna be, you're just gonna need to be sure. Okay, we can actually pull this down a little. You're just gonna need to be sure that it fits like that. So these pieces that we created, they don't overlap or something. You know this should be good now you're gonna add a curve modifier and you're gonna assign the curve the curve that you just made and now if you add more count in the array modifier you can see that it perfectly wraps around the wheels now 
I got this thing here, so I'm just gonna need to um, pull it a little bit, maybe. So it doesn't like, okay, let's just leave it like that. And just like that, you created a very simple tech tr tank track. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to rig tracks, but if you move it along the axis, you can sh see that it's basically moving. Yeah. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that was a very simple tutorial, very quick. If you want your tanks to be more detailed, just make them more detailed but i just did it for the sake of this video so i hope you enjoyed it have a nice day and bye bye